am back with another youtube video and today we have some more acrylic toes now i know it's been a little minute since i posted a acrylic toe video so i really wanted to show y'all these because they came out very pretty now i just soaked off some acrylic toes that she's had on since i think august so i am going to show y'all what that looked like for the most part they actually stayed on which i was not too shocked about because the acrylic toes last very very long but here i do have to cut down her toenails of course because they did grow out and now i'm starting to remove all of the shine off of the natural nail plate this sanding band is 180 grit and i do like to buy these in bulk i actually buy them in a pack off of amazon so i will link that down below and here i'm continuing to remove the shine off her natural nail plate we don't need any dead skin here when we're starting to do the prep and application After using the sanding band, I am going to go in with a cuticle bit and go to the side walls of the nails, making sure that I get all of that dead skin off from the surrounding cuticle area. I am being very gentle as I'm doing this, and she really didn't have too much cuticle for me to remove, and honestly, none for me to nip. So once I'm finished with doing this, I can reshape her toenails and start to clean up. When the toenails are already square, it is much easier to do the acrylic application, but if they are not, that's not a problem at all. Now, on her second to last toe, she really doesn't have much toenail. She could have possibly picked the acrylic off or possibly it came off because this was the only nail on this foot that was missing a toenail. So I am going to later have to go back and shape out the acrylic because that toenail is not square like the other ones. With some alcohol and a lint-free wipe, I'll be wiping her toenails to remove all of the dust. We don't need any dust on the natural nail plate because that will later cause lifting. And like I said before, she had these acrylic toes on for a long time. So I need to make sure I keep my record up and make sure these last just as long. For my primer, as always, I really like to use the No Lift Primer. I will link that down below. I use these on my nails too and I get great results and my client's nails last for a long time. For the acrylic application today, I'll be using my Valentino Perfect Nude and before I apply the bead, I do lightly dry it out on the paper towel, but you still want it to be a little wet so that it'll nicely flow into the cuticle area. So I'm gonna be very gentle as I'm working with this acrylic. Continuing to pat around the acrylic powder, I'm making sure that the acrylic is not falling off to the sidewalls and that everything stays on top of the nail and it's not spilling the cuticle area. So I'm continuing to pat around and once I'm finished, I'll start to drag this bead down and then use my cuticle pusher to remove any excess acrylic. Before going in and removing any extra acrylic powder, I do actually dip the end of the cuticle pusher into the acrylic powder so that when I'm removing it, the acrylic powder does not stick to the end of the cuticle pusher. And we also don't need her toenails being very long. So if I know this is too long, especially if the toenail was already square, I am gonna continue to remove the acrylic powder pretty much until I actually feel the toenail and I know most of it is removed. If you are wondering how much I actually charge for this set, besides the soak off, the acrylic toes were $50 and the French tip was actually plus 10. So they ended up being $60 for the acrylic toes plus the French tip. And at first, I thought she was just getting a solid color because she booked a regular, you know, acrylic toe set. She didn't add the French tip. So when she told me black, 
I started to use the black acrylic powder which stained her toenail on her other foot when I was recording. So I did have to wipe that off, file and buff it off, and then go back in with the nude since she meant French tip and not she wanted a full set of black toes. I will also be offering full pedicures very, very soon. The only reason I wasn't was because back at home, I did not have any space in that little room to be offering pedicures. But now that I do, I'm able to do that. And I'm trying to make some bank. I'm definitely going to be upcharging and making my money with the pedicures plus the acrylic toes, especially because the acrylic toes last very long. For this toenail that was not square like the other ones, the method is still similar. I'm still gonna make sure that everything is on top of the nail, that the cuticle is flush, and I'm gonna start to lightly drag this acrylic powder down using the very tip of my brush after I'm finished cleaning the sidewalls. Once I'm finished with this, I'll go back into the acrylic powder with my cuticle pusher and start to remove some extra acrylic so that I can make this nail nice and square. I'll also be poking under the acrylic powder so that it doesn't look very, very thick and it'll be less for me to file underneath the nail when I'm finished achieving the full set. There aren't a lot of nail techs that offer full pedicure services with the acrylic toe, so I definitely think it'll be a game changer for my clientele and a great way for me to expand in my new area since you guys know that I moved recently and clientele been a little shaky for me since I am at a new location. Now, most of my clients are willing to travel, but it has still been not too hard, but it definitely was a difference within my first month, which was expected. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't do acrylic toes with the full pedicure for the same reason I wasn't, which was lack of space. For the big toe, I'll be doing this in two beads because I really did not want to risk doing it in one and messing up. But the first bead, I'll be focusing on making the free edge square. And then, of course, the second bead would be my cuticle bead. For this, I'll be doing the same thing like the other toes, but I'm actually not going to use the cuticle pusher to remove any extra acrylic powder. I'm just going to make sure that using my brush, I shape this acrylic powder to be square, and later if I have to file it down, I will. For me, personally, sometimes I find when I use the cuticle pusher on the big toe, I may accidentally make it crooked or uneven however you want to say it but to me it always ends up looking funny so to prevent that i went ahead and just shaped it out and later i'll file it down i'm also going to show you guys the foot stand that i use unfortunately for my client her foot kept sliding and i'm actually not too sure why i have everybody place their feet like this and the foot stand is right off amazon and they're sitting in the regular chair and i just have them prop their foot right up and then i ask them if they're comfortable and i have not had any issues with doing it this way at all Since my client foot did move out of nowhere, one, I'm happy that I was able to finish what I was doing before anything spilled. Two, I applied that bead very thin, so I am going to have to go back into the cuticle area with one more bead to fill that out. After this, I'm going to go back in with that cuticle pusher and lightly go underneath the acrylic so that later when I'm filing underneath the nail, I don't have to worry about pressing too hard or the skin being stuck to the acrylic powder. Using my 8080 grip file, I am going to straighten out these nails, make sure that the side walls are nice and straight. And you really want to be careful on the sides because you do not want to accidentally file off too much of the acrylic.
we do want this to look very, very natural. So I'm going on top of the nail, close to the cuticle, making sure that I file all of the acrylic that's sidewall to sidewall. Then I'll be using my bit and lightly going underneath the acrylic as well so that we can make these look very thin and natural. I'll be doing this to all of the toes going underneath the nail. Like I said, we want these to look natural. And I definitely feel like compared to my first acrylic toe video that these are much thinner and natural looking. Now, the only problem is you do have to let your clients know to be careful with their toes because there was definitely one time I was walking past my bed and I accidentally stubbed my pinky toe and my toenails skidded across the floor. Now, luckily, only the acrylic came off and my toenail was fine, but my pinky toenail was throbbing for hours. So you definitely want to be careful with these, but they do last a very long time, like I showed you guys earlier. And I definitely recommend adding this to your pedicures for a good upcharge. I did buffer these nails after I cleaned them. I just was excited and really wanting to see what these nails are going to look like. But we are going to dry these. Like I said, I did make sure to buff the nails before applying this top coat. For my black gel polish, this is actually from d and I love this gel polish and it's a liner gel, not a regular like gel polish bottle. I'm not really too sure if that makes a difference, but it was real good and for the most part i really only had to go in with one coat of gel polish but if i felt like it was too thin that's when i went in with two but this polish was very pigmented so for the most part i did not have to
Very carefully, starting from the side walls, I'm gonna start to create my small line and you do wanna be careful when you're doing this because I was trying my best to make sure that they were all the same. Like I didn't want one toenail to have more black than the others, but I feel like I tried my best and they came out looking better than the last time I did some Frenchies on here. And I'm gonna link a playlist down below for the rest of my acrylic toe videos if you guys are interested. There was definitely a couple times where I messed up and you guys are gonna see that here when I wiped the gel off of the nail because it was too thick or it just didn't match the previous toenail at all. After this, I will be showing you guys the final result. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video of these natural looking acrylic toes. The base I was using was Valentino's Perfect Nude. I feel like it matches very, very well with a lot of skin tones and it looks very good with this black. If you did enjoy this YouTube video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna see you in the next YouTube video.